What's up everyone? So it has taken over a year of planning and saving for this Peru trip. My good buddy Sean will be going with me and he has never been out of the country before so all this is going to be very new to him. I was originally inspired by a YouTuber named Carl Watson. He and his friend James saved up for three years, quit their jobs and traveled the world for nine months. His documentary inspired me to finally get back into traveling again and also to go down the travel documentarian route. We booked a seven-day Inca Trail tour with G Adventures. Join me as I step out of my comfort zone and delve deep into the uncertainty of the Inca Trail and reach the mystery and wonder that is Machu Picchu. We're on the air train. Slap it to the in LA. Lima, Lima, Peru, on to Cusco next. Lines everywhere, we might miss our flight to Cusco. Lines. We are gone on the bus to get to the airport. We did uh, Lima. We're, we're at Lima Airport now. We're going, we're going to Cusco, and then after that, we're going to meet our group with the adventures and continue the journey. So let's get flying, my friend. See you in Cusco. <laughs> Fucking wonderful. Well, I'll figure that shit out now then, I guess. We're on the way to the hotel. I'm actually filming a documentary for, uh, yeah. so it's gonna be awesome. Here's our awesome Cusco. Cusco, our awesome, <laughs> our awesome driver saved us. <laughs> Going to our G Adventures meeting briefing. I feel the altitude already just walking around. Yep. There's our group, G Adventures group, 2016. Whew, I'm out of breath. So this is called the um, Casa de Armas. Uh -huh. It's basically because on any given day of the year, you'll find an arm, army parade here because whenever there's something to celebrate they celebrate here with a parade like we've got here like you're saying there's, there's 370 different occasions so you guaranteed one of them still filling the elevation Uchu. My first coca tea. tea. What is up, friends? So, end of day one, we got to Cusco. G Adventures showed us all the stuff we need to know. Had a little meeting, met up with our group. Amazing people. Amazing, amazing people, actually. We, uh, we, uh, we went to dinner and had a great time. But the altitude sickness is really fucking with me. Like when I got to the hotel, we're trying to pack our bags for the Inca Trail tomorrow. We have to condense a lot, and it's just really difficult. I can't think straight. Everything is uh, a struggle. Plus, we're tired from the air fire. The air... F See, I can't talk right. From flying uh, nine hours, uh, basically 24 hours worth of flying, not much sleep, uncomfortable, and altitude sickness on top of it all. <laughs> but, uh... <sighs> yeah, that's it. Tomorrow the real challenge and adventure starts and that will raise a lot of questions and answers on how the altitude sickness will affect us. Hopefully the coca leaves will help. We had some tea today, some coca leaves tea. 
dinner and it was nice. So we'll see if it helps us tomorrow. See you then. Some kind of cheese, more cheese, watermelon. The first throw up of the trip belongs to the person in this bathroom right here. We have the Coke tea, hopefully it helps. The day before we start the Inca Trail, we enjoy a full day guided tour of the Sacred Valley and also allow our bodies more time to acclimate. Our first big stop was at a local community and women's weaving co-op. How's it fit? Nice? Uh, it does, it has a big head. <laughs> <laughs> Low the altitude. Doing boy. Hopefully not to throw up because it's none of that. You're in public. <laughs> it's time for time for a little bite to eat for lunch. You don't want to guys drink anything, right? Can okay. you make this now? Can you pour the leaves in? Put some coca leaves in your cup. Alright. And now what? And then you get some water. Cold water? No, it's hot. Okay. Our viewers need to know. <laughs> <laughs> and it's ready. Stir clockwise. Okay, guys, we're gonna have a little hike, okay? A little hike to the upper part.
Ready for adventure? <laughs> I know, I'm already breathing. Coca leaf has a lot of calcium and potassium. So if you are chewing coca leaf, it makes it strong your teeth. People in the Andes, even the Incas, you know, they've been chewing coca leaf a lot. We found mummies with 100 years or 120 years old mummies, old mummies, but they were with complete teeth, they didn't miss any teeth at all. Because if you chew that one, it makes it strong your teeth. Do you think the people living in the far away, they brush their teeth? Never. They don't have a tooth problem. They've never been before with dentists but they have a strong teeth because they always chew coca leaf. On the other side, the coca leaf has a lot of ca uh, caffeine and cocaine. So that way, once you are chewing, it's avoid hungry and avoid thirsty because you activate the caffeine and the cocaine. Works together and you don't feel hungry and even thirsty, right? So that way, coca leaf has been used in many ways. Even some people even nowadays mention coca leaf perhaps was like a small currency for the Incas because for Mayas and Aztecas, cacao bean was like a currency. No gold or silver. Sun gate. Walk through the sun gate. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. In the back of me is a cool mountainside. Oh, hey, point yeah. down. And a lot of people walking up these pretty cool steps. So, dating back to the 1300s, <laughs> King William of Williamshire decided he was going to move to Peru. And he built this fucking big step. <laughs> no one knows why. See, if you resort to these type of things, you'll get the best shot. It's our last day before the Inca Trail. We're ready, I think. I hope. With an early start, we jumped on the bus that would take us to our destination. The start of the Inca Trail. about to start the Inca Trail. I need to get my glass on, it's bright. We have snacks. Snacks, we got it. <laughs> in the snack bag. What we got? We have bananas, an orange, oh, an go. energy bar, <laughs> a, a papa, <laughs> chocolates, yeah. <laughs> Right now, last bathroom before we start this hike. You ready? Uh, I'm not sure I'm ready. <laughs> In about half an hour, more or less, the porters will be walking very fast. Okay, some of them doesn't speak English, neither Spanish. So that means you have to stay always on the mountainside. So right now, we're gonna go that direction to the mountains. Let's go. 
right. is the bridge to the National Park. Once we cross the bridge, we're no longer allowed to drop litter, smoke cigarettes, climb on the Inca wall, and you have to keep mountainside. We need to have the passport handy here. Okay, so we're at one of our first breaks. Here's the awesome mountain. I'll close up while you get to look at my beautiful face. There's a lake. Okay, no more me. Okay, group. Group reapplying sunscreen. There's, there's my buddies. Now it starts to climb steep. Hello there, chicken. Oh, we've got jackasses, donkeys to the common folk, and a few shops along the way. <laughs> on our way on the hike, some cold drinks. We just went up a hill. Got pretty winded, but that's probably one of the smaller hills, unfortunately. And as you can see, we're relaxing. <laughs> An avocado tree that we have the luxury of getting shade from. On our way. This time we're in Peru, not Yosemite. Yep. We're in Peru. On the Inca Trail. First day. Um, hasn't gotten crazy yet. I'm not looking forward to that. But we'll take it as it comes. All right. Okay, I'm not looking forward to this steep incline right here, but that's reality. Let's do All it. All the way up there. Bridge. Got a nice river. We're all getting ready to head up the steep incline. My chums right here. Oh mate, let's go. Got one you got those apples and pears. Lots of apples and pears. I want to sit on. It's bloody brilliant.
They were so nice to hand us drinks. Very good. It's like a mix of orange juice and like tang. And I keep them so What do you think to Jesse? He's trying to boof, boof. Wash our hands and then we're going to eat. Yes! Right now, we are here, okay? So we did this little downhill, right? So we are here. And the camping site is over here. That's Waiyabamba, my village. Okay, this is a small village. Okay, so the hike is going to be two hours. And this is the hike for tomorrow. That's it. Looks small, right? No. That's it. It's up and down. And that's going to be the hike for the following day. Up, down, up and down, down, until we need wine. Okay? And Machu Picchu. Find the bug spray okay. for the bugs. There's a lot of little gnats, but I don't give a shit. We got thunder. It's behind us. Find some steep hills. Yeah, that's some good thunder. the effects of this altitude, the steepness. The hills are kind of steep right here. We should be in camp within half an hour. I'll, I'll update you there. <sighs> this is a nice little town way up in the mountains. This is the last one apparently. Um, what else to say? What else? That applause means we've almost made it. I welcome it. I'm so winded. No tired. Probably a little dehydrated. Health too sickness. Oh, it's you guys. Thank you. My friends. My friends. My friends. My friends. Thank you. Thank you. Love you guys. Oh, thank you. Good job. Okay, these little assholes will be biting you, and you actually have little blood things. Watch. Kill them. No, not that one, but. I have, oh, this little fucker right here, see? Right, you die now. Oh, no, 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 no. I can imagine what laying in the grass in the Andes Mountains looking up at the oh, awesome like clouds. Bit, I love it. Yeah, and we've been hiking all day, so it feels so good to lay down. So, how, how, so we did 12 kilometers a day, right? right. How many miles is that? I don't know. Dude, shouldn't you know? Like, yeah. Nine miles? I think so. And before dinner, we all did introductions. Francisco. Yeah. I will follow you. Lead the way, my friend. Oh, wrong way. Okay. This is where I passed. Hey, don't back talk me. <laughs> Our awesome dinner tent. Yeah. <laughs> Man, is this, what is it called? Mm. 
Very good popcorn. And after dinner, we had plenty of time to relax, talk amongst ourselves, and enjoy the views of the Andes Mountains. Okay, people, line up, get ready to run. Remember, there is a few wires over there. Please don't chip up. <laughs> and when I say action, so here we go. Oh, action. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh shit! Everyone in the tent's like, "What the fuck are they doing?" Oh, like these fucking tourists. Here, someone try to someone try to light on Mark's face so I can see. Whoa! That's crazy. I'm gonna trump. Oh my! Oh. <laughs> Right, that's our key. Yeah. <laughs> you went out with a bang. <laughs> that is an absolutely awesome picture. Excuse yeah. me, I make no excuses. Yeah. <laughs> but you can't see any people. No. Good morning. It is five in the morning, and the cock started crowing at four in the morning, and we are woken up to tea, coca tea. So we'll have breakfast at five thirty. And what time are we on the road? 6.15? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for the hardest part of the trek. So, I'll update you later. Walked up a steep hill, and the whole day is steep. I hope you film it too much, it's gonna be difficult, so we'll see. It was too steep to film earlier. We have a little level ground for the next hill. Yes, downhill, holy shit. Oh yeah. Yes. Never been so happy to see a downhill in my life. Oh, the downhill is amazing. Mike? Restroom right here. I'm gonna be hitting some shade, but unfortunately, stairs. A uh, secret trick to the stairs, you don't walk up the stairs if you can. You walk around them, like this, see? Right here. So if you walked up every step, some are higher than others, you'd be winded really fast. So the key is to walk around them. Problem is a lot of time is by the cliff. And see, so look at all these stairs. Imagine walking up those. So you can go around around the stairs. Save yourself.
more stairs. <sighs> yeah, many more hours of this. Oh, I'd be so scared I'd fall down and crack my head on the rocks below. Uh, it's a big drop. Yeah. <laughs> so relaxed, I love it. Flies. This butterfly is uh, first like a caterpillar. Yeah. Yeah, that's caterpillar is, is going Butterflies. Okay. The hill continues. For example, you go up these steep steps and be winded, or take this way with your much smaller rocks. So exhausted. I'm reduced to taking very small steps. We made it to I think it's the second area or second point. Here's the bathrooms. And one of the best views. But the boob looking thing is the top. That's where we're gonna end up, I think. Uh, you can see the trail. Continuing. Oh, he has balls. So we're now at approximately 3,900 feet, looking down on Wire Tambo. This is this mountain. We're heading that way, up to Dead Woman's Pass, which will be the highest, peak, point, highest point at 4,200 meters. <laughs> up there, it's probably gonna get quite cold and quite windy. But we don't mind that for now. I'm sweating out my arse. steps and we still gotta go way up here in closer I never felt anything like this exactly this is like I, I, if I would have known this was up against I would have like that fucking mask so we've gotten very far it felt like forever the altitude's crazy our packs are crazy it's all crazy in some way but we're almost there look we're at the clouds right where the clouds are right here very cool. I really like this. Snail speed. This hike has taken everything out of my body. I'm giving everything I have for this hike. Pushing me to my limits. The steps I take are very small. Lots of breaks, 
It's just the altitude is a little too crazy. Yeah. Well, it's the altitude. And my water. Good luck. Thank you. You too. Yeah, see you at the top. Weight in my pack. Being overweight. The key is breathe. Keep breathing. Deep in breath. Don't breathe out all the way before you take another breath. Keep the breathing at a pace. Yeah, keep breathing at a pace. Don't talk too much, like I'm doing. For me, take breaks, keep them small, keep them short. Walk really slow. We can do this. Getting closer. I haven't stopped every few feet. Every five, six stairs now. Slow my heart rate down when breathing. We'll be there soon. So relieved that they're almost here. Four thousand two hundred meters. You guys are all amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. <laughs> amazing. Everybody's amazing. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Now the descent will be down here. Uh, sorry for, I didn't get to film much on this camera because I was literally too tired, too exhausted, too much altitude, fatigue. Very strenuous. Now we're making our descent to the camp. It should be one to two hours depending on our pace. Bathroom. It started to rain on us a little bit. Um, I just peed and it was so orange, and I've been drinking water non stop this whole time. I got my parka on. It's starting to rain a little bit. We got clouds. Clouds. Beautiful scenery. There's a lot of rivers going through all this beautiful grassland. Some cool stuff everywhere. Ow, shit. It's hailing. It's everywhere. Ooh. Only for a second, but it's fucking hailing. I'm so happy this phone is waterproof. It smell like a doctor's office. Like, I don't like the smell of this poncho, but. Keep me dry and warm, keeping my heat in. <sighs> All right, let's get to the bottom. The rocks are starting to get wet, so as they get more wet, they get more treacherous. So watch your step extra if it starts raining on the rocks. I will do my best. The weather is so unusual here, like I'm, it's part of, you feel the sun, it gets hot, yet clouds are still over you, raining on you. It's so interesting, the weather. Oh, 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 almost ate shit right there. 
Yeah, the weather is very bipolar here. Yeah, the rocks are getting slippery. I almost slipped. It could have been bad if I hadn't caught it. So please, it's hard because you want to run down because to get out. Oh, shit again to get out of the rain. But please take your time. We we're almost to base camp. It took quite a while. Oh, lots of slipping. But we're almost here, and we have made it. Base camp. Yay! Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Some cool waterfalls. Way up there. So this is where we'll be camping tonight. The hardest day is over. Looks like we got some clouds. Possibly some rain. And next time, we continue our journey on the Inca Trail. Machu Picchu getting ever closer 